Hey what's up guys, I'm Kevin Bonanno and welcome back to my channel. Today we're back with more alien isolation. <laughs> so if I wasn't terrified enough in the first video, I think I will be more terrified in this one. And I think it was quite funny editing the first video because I was talking so quietly the whole time. I'll try and be a bit more brave in this one. Um, if I die, I die. It's just a game, right? <laughs> so yeah, if you guys are ready, I think that we should just get started. But before we get started, a quick word from today's sponsor, The Cycle Frontier. If you enjoy a thrill of dropping down onto a hostile alien planet with high stakes fighting for survival, be sure to check it out. The Cycle Frontier is set on a planet for Tuna 3 where you'll come face to face with various alien creatures running amok in the old research facilities and habitats that remain deserted. But that's not all, you are not the only person in the area trying to survive. Players will set up their inventory aboard the space station orbiting for Tuna 3, be sure to equip enough power for a fight. Players drop down as prospectors and you'll be scouting the terrain and extracting uniquely valuable resources all while surviving both the dangerous wildlife and other prospectors who are hunting for the same resources. Sources. The Cycle Frontier is a PvPvE sci-fi first-person shooter. You can drop in solo, with a friend, or with a team of up to three players. Cycle Frontier boasts detailed graphics, intense firefights, and a futuristic setting which has you exploring forsaken bases, cave systems, and the wilderness of Fortuna 3. Be sure to check out the latest updates for Season 2 which will be covered in the next video. Season 2 will bring new challenges and objectives where players will be dropping down into the exciting new deadly territory, the depths of Theris Island. Thanks again to the Cycle Frontier for sponsoring today's video. Let's go, sweetheart. Seeks and comms is in the Sistex Spire. It's quite a distance, but we can get to a transit through the freight area. But watch yourself. We can get into all sorts of trouble there, okay? It's a transit link. Okay. Come on, I don't want to stick around here long. Yeah, cup calm down. Here we are. Was that you following me back there? Had to keep my distance. Can't take any chances. All right, I am very, very worried still. Stay no close. hospital, no authority, what? no hope. Hey, don't move. Uh, oh, okay, Shit. okay. We're not looking for trouble. Who are you? I'm John. This is Ringo. They're just some assholes. We haven't got time for this. Come on, Jana. We're trying to get to comms. Can you help us? We don't need their help. Don't tell them anything. Look, I've got the elevator working. Jana, let's go, okay? I... I'm sorry. Good luck. I thought he was talking to me for a second that I shouldn't move. Oh god. What the hell was that about? Why are you so damn aggressive? Everyone's running shit scared. Keeping to their own. Safer that way. Yeah, but that doesn't explain why you're being aggressive. Yeah, I think that we'll get a flashlight because it says so in the control menu. Oh, this ship of yours is the real McCoy. Um, I kind Hold of up. hope so too. Let me get the elevator. All right. Just hurry, Allow please. Me. Place is old. Needs a special touch. It's got the spatial touch. Dear oh God. Well, what are you waiting for? Hit the button. I thought you had the spatial touch. <laughs> Didn't think I was allowed to. Keep the noise down here. There might be people around. I'd appreciate it if you told me what the hell was going on right now. Yeah. Listen, darling. When we get to the ship, we can kick back, braid each other's hair, and chat all you want. Yeah, when we get to my ship, I need to know what's going on right fucking now. Fine. Like I said, there's a killer. Is now the time to mention that, that he's bald? Mean? I ain't seen it, but it's here. Picking us off one by one. What are you saying? A psycho? A person? No, something else. A monster. <laughs> it's the alien. Oh, good God, you're fast. Oh. Okay. 
Is that all? Good. I don't know what we use it for. I think it's called ethanol in Danish. Shit, we need to move. This way. Get down. This is bullshit, man. We should be looking for a way off. Are you crazy? There's no way off. At least we're safe down here. For how long? What, what the if controls? they come for us? Then we shoot the crap out of them. Now shut up. You're making me nervous. We're going in the butthole? Nope, that's locked. Okay. Trouble. We'll have to go around them. Follow me. But it's not just is it not just humans? Okay. King Axel. Oh. <laughs> don't leave me. Friends of yours? I've had run-ins with those guys before. They don't like strangers, even nice guys like me. I'm shocked. Yeah. I'm going your chain, darling. You want to go and say hello? It's your funeral. Those guns aren't for show. Someone should be doing something. They are. It's called surviving. Everyone's turning on each other. The fear, it makes people crazy. I've noticed. I mean, it just seems weird that you would turn on each other in a situation like this. You've been living here? What can I say? My butler's on holiday. Grab what you need. You don't know when you'll get another chance. This dude, I swear to God. Been hunkered down Very here for sarcastic. a week now, waiting for a ship. Waiting for you, I guess. It can get pretty dark around here. You should take that flashlight over there. Oh, Make where? sure you're stocked up on batteries. Flashlight? You can't just say over there. Did I pick it up already? Flashlight. Yes. Oh, it's like a headset. Cool. Just be careful not to flash it around. We don't want to get caught. Let's go. Alright. Uh, let me save, please. I think... I mean, having thought about it, the, it, the game doesn't just save right away. It's kind of, there's a countdown. So I guess that if an enemy gets too close, it's just, you're out of luck. This way. Okay. Um, doesn't seem like I can use the flashlight just yet. Oh, okay, there's no batteries. That's great. Did I what miss now? something? I'll watch the vent. There's another vent right here somewhere. I marked it so I wouldn't forget it. Use your flashlight to find. How about you look around? We're not going anywhere until you find that vent. Oh, there we go. I need to find a vent. Okay. On the map? I mean, there's a vent here. That's not the one. This place gives me the willies. Uh, same. How much you want to bet that they're gonna try and scare me? Oh, here. Axel, is this it? Hold on. I'm coming. Okay, but I'm turning this off. <laughs> Follow my voice. <laughs> I am over here. Don't scare me. I knew me. it was here somewhere. See? Got it covered. Oh my god. I'll have to use it sparingly. You guys see I've already lost some battery? Come on. Like we're making like a lot of noise walking in these vents and I don't like it. Hello, yes, I am here. It's not smart to stay here too long. Everyone travels around here. Just those that want to stay alive, sweetheart. Great. Torrance, so that's your ship, huh? Uh, yes. Quiet. I 
hear something. That was awkward. Yeah, I hear you. Will do. Gotta go meet the others. Something's going down. There's always something going down. Come on. We don't want to piss him off. Are oh God. On? You okay? It's people. My worst fear. Follow me. I can save. Where the fuck did they go? Um. I sometimes forget the controls. A little bit. Okay, go be quiet here. Don't shine that flashlight. Okay. Quietly. What are you talking about? I am not making a peep. Hold up. What's the emergency? Someone else has been here. Everyone, stay alert. Keep your guns tight. Shoot anyone you don't know. Stick around while I check our stock. That seems a little bit extreme. Them take on. Take on? To we still got to get through there. The door at the end. Me. How? Let's try a distraction. The generator. If that went down, they'd have to check it out. You're smaller than me. You'll make less noise. Great. Which Find a way to just. Oh dear God. Shut off the generator. Hide it. What's up? You decide to help yourself a little? What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Hey, he's been with me the whole time. We're missing food, ammo, meds. If it's not one of us, then we were right. Someone's been in here. This is no good. I have we're no idea where to, to go. We're down here. Damn it. What about the lock Joe rigged up? I've just come from there. Sealed tight. Eyes open. Keep your guns ready. Someone's gonna have to tell the boss. Boss? He's a goddamn store clerk. Yeah? Maybe you think you hey. could do better. He's not saying that. I'm just You guys just keep talking. Just stop saying. And help me check the rest of this stuff. That is, if you could keep Do I go down here? Okay, I think I seconds. do. Is it safe? I don't know. Who's there? Come out and we will Doesn't seem to be broken. How would you know, Einstein? Nice if the generator had blown, then you smoke. Well, Jesus, you scared now. me. Maybe the safety got tripped. Let's keep it down. Ooh. It's still close by. Alright. Oh. Okay. Breathe and safe. <laughs> Even that made me nervous. Because I still don't know what to expect, necessarily. Excel? Am I going first? Where are we going? Oh, this way, okay. How much further? Nearly there. Transit's just up ahead. Let's just hope your ship's still there. Right. Sevastopol, not quite what you're expecting, eh? Nope. I'm not even supposed to be here. My shipping out papers were for a week ago. Okay, a blind eye. S. I managed to get my hands on that stuff I was talking about. Chief won't even notice the stock missing. Things always get lost when a station's closing down. Don't worry about custom either. Sinclair told his men to turn a blind eye. They'll probably be too busy goofing off. I read that correctly. <laughs> or taking a backhanders to notice anyway. You get where you pay for, I guess, Bailey. Two main rule. Nearson. Leonard? You're both first shift on the You're both I can't hear myself. You're both first 
shift on the door Sari carefully. Putting this together wasn't easy and we don't want intruders getting in because you didn't read the instructions probably, properly. This here is what you call a two-man rule lock. This means it needs two to open the door simultaneously from two different consoles. Most of us don't know each other, so this is the safest way of making sure every everything stays secure and none of us decides to head off in on their own with our stuff. When you're on shift, take it in turns to keep guard and notify the other if one of us needs to be let in or out. That means just us. No one else, no matter how much anyone begs or and no matter how and no matter what sub story they try and pull. I was with a group before and we got soft and now I'm the only one left. Trust no one. Joe. Inventory no one is take no one is to take anything or mark it off the list without talking to me first. Aspirin, canned food, cereal, water, toothpaste, cigarettes, toilet paper. Industrial tape, medkits, powdered milk. Notes, running low on ammunition, Zoe managed to pick up some prescription drugs. All addressed to the same person, guess they didn't need them anymore. Alright, Axel. Okay. Let's see. Go! Or am I going first? Can I interact with this? No? Oh my god, that's a scary silhouette, dude. Restore power. I'm trying- Let's power it down. The assholes have cut us off. Ooh! Got it. That's what we need. We need to activate both consoles at the same time to open it. I'll do this one, you go to the one on the other side. Okay. Uh, other side? Um, I guess I follow the cable. Oh, yeah, here we go. Hit two men switch. Ready. On three. One, two, two three. three. Axel, behind you. What? Oh, oh, run, 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 run. run. Son of a bitch. You bums think I... you can take what you <laughs> bitch. <laughs> oh Jesus. Fuck. Let's go. The others are on their way. We need to go! No! Uh -oh. hey, you yo 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 yo. <laughs> shoot him! Shit, I think he's dead. Oh. They killed oh, him. Shoot. Oh god, Axel. Come on! You killed that guy! Because he was going to kill me, you saved my life. This is about survival. Do you understand? Oh no. What is that on the floor? I hear something. Axel? I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Shit. What the hell was that thing? Where the fuck do I go? Where the fuck do I go? Green door, green door, green door, please. Gotta keep moving. Can I not open this? Where the fuck do I go? I don't know. Panic pause. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck to do, you guys. Hold on. I don't know where I'm going.
I hate it. It's so slow. He's open. Thank you. What do I do now? I'm gonna suck at this game. <laughs> Just opening a door is gonna be the death of me. Oh dear god. Find an elevator to seek some communications. Okay, just making sure my flashlight is turned off. Technologies, tech support services, and oh, great. Okay. Solutions. I am ready to be so lost again. Uh <gasps> Safe Station. I I I don't know what to do now. I need a break. <laughs> I honestly do. I'm so scared. <laughs> Sorry, I've been recording for a tiny bit and I realized my mic was turned off. So we just had a, a look at um, the access rewire that we can cause distractions and access new areas. Um, so yeah, that's the only thing we've done. And then I've talked about being very lost when it comes to this game, um, I'm going to try and be a bit more brave and be a li little bit more just whatever. I, I don't think it's going to go like that. Um, <laughs> I think I'm going to be very scared. All to hide, yeah. And I've discovered we can hide in these, which is great. I think there was a way for me to lie down or does she do that automatically? She did that in the last video and I was like, did I do that or did she do that herself? I'm guessing she does that herself when there's something to hide under. There's a booty hole. No weapons allowed. I like the sound of that. Oh, it's the booty hole. Okay. Ooh, paranoid. I don't know if you want to go in there. Okay, yeah, no, that is very dark. No, thank you. <laughs> oh, what is this? Shooting me. What's Guys, wrong with you? Over here. Someone's here. Oh shit. Do I go where do I go? An access to her. She was trying to hack the elevator security. Oh great. The circuits are fried. Easy fix. Just need to find a new data cell. <clears throat> what do I do? Are they coming? Oh, there's a booty hole. No, no, no. Oh my god. Can I go in here? Oh, whoa. Hello. Booty hole? There we go. Well, I can't... Ooh. Take them all. Plasma torch required. Well, I can't do that. <sighs> K. 
Cam takes it all. I probably bamboozled myself by doing this. Because now I will not know where they are. Well, she was right there. This should be great. The thing is, will she notice me when I'm in here? I'm gonna try and get as close as, as I can. How does it end up like this? Okay, she's over to my left. You did not. Movement over there. Anyone else see something move over there? Hey, I think they no. are. Let's call it off. No. Well, I was a little bit in a pickle there because if I would have turned back, she would have spotted me. Alright, well, I don't think that is the way to do it then. Um. Oh, map. I missed this. Okay. So, what I've gathered so far is that you really need to be very observant of your surroundings. Um. Okay. I'm interested to see if us picking up that thing triggered them coming back. Okay, yeah, she waits for me. That was smart. <laughs> what do I do? Can I turn it off? <laughs> I mean, I can throw it. Okay. I think it does, because they've not got back yet. Um, okay. I'm gonna go in here. First. Get the stuff. I don't know if they're gonna come back. Um, but I'm gonna guess that they want me to pick that thing up. Lesson learned, it's- no, I don't- <sighs> Yeah, there we go. Can I unequip it? That's annoying. How the fuck do I unequip stuff? That is gonna annoy the hell out of me. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Maybe we- Okay. So they're gonna come from over there, correct? So I think our best guess is to an access run to up the stairs. She was trying to hack the elevator security. 
Circuits are fried. Easy fix. Just need to find a new data cell. Because I don't think there is any point for us to turn back, except uh, for saving purposes. Oh, wait, there's some stuff here. See anything yet? Maybe. I don't know. I hope no one is going to come up behind me. She went downstairs. Come on. No, I did not. I'm most I'm certainly not going down there. No way. No. <gasps> well, I understand why she did not want to go down here. Shit. Oh, that's a lot of blood. Is it blood? We do definitely not want to run around down here. Oh god, I thought <laughs> the bird moving in there, I thought it was the alien. Search tech support for new data. I think we need to be down here. Is there... Okay, so that beep thing is for saving. Should I heal? Is that smart? Okay, I can hide. Is that rattle noise? Is that him? Or her? The alien? I don't know. That's freaky. Okay. I should wear a heart rate monitor, shouldn't I? That would be fun. Should I set it up? I'm... Bitch. Okay. I'm gonna do that because I need a break. <laughs> Alright. It is set up. So the thing you see in the corner is my heart rate. It should be fun. Hello? Is that a camera? Hello! How are you doing? Welcome to the vlog. I 
because someone is watching me. Device invalid. Great. Well, I do see the, the booty. Can we try that. I feel like I've just missed so many things. Fine, it's just a video game. Um, take is that a battery? <coughs> Thank you. We continue. Hello, it is me. Oh, we're just here. Um, do we go back up? Do we go further? Oh, we can go further down. And I did not heal. Um, circle? Med kit? Okay. Uh, should I just check? If we can... Oh, no, wait. That one. Okay, we can craft another one, uh, L1. I'm so nervous I had to look at what button I was about to press. <laughs> hey, this looks like a good hiding spot. <laughs> I know I'm crouching, but... I am worried about the alien. We saw him. I'm just gonna call it a him because. So, are these people still gonna be here? Take a map. What is this? Secure lock system. Great. Do I hear another safe station? Or was it just downstairs? Can I... I'm so lost. It looks like I'm locked in here. For now. Okay. Is because of the thing on the door up there? It seems like I won't be able to get out of here. Which is very reassuring. <laughs> I honestly have no idea. Did I miss anything? I missed the whole gun. Awesome. Key card? Right. Is it that thing that's making noises? Okay, I really need to be better at looking at things. Key card? Oh, great. Oh, that's fantastic. Take it all. Smoke bombs, awesome. Just what we need. That was empty, great. <sighs> Do I dare? This is not going to be good. I'm just going to go on a limb and just walk around. Hope for the best. Oh. Now if that's not going to freak you out, I don't know what will. Oh god. Did we hear him? I swear to god there's like a rattle.
Excuse me. Found it? What? What? No! God damn it! Oh, it's not working. Fantastic. <sighs> with all the noises. What do I do? What do I do? I can use these? But okay. I I don't know. What are we doing? Can I take something else so confused let's try this thing out what? oh what what Well, that's not stressful at all. I don't like this. Really just trying to focus on breathing. Very safe. I save. Let's save. Okay. Yes, please. Do, do, do. Okay. So now break. Oh. Awesome. I think we're going- I think there was something on the door here. now um audio well can i sorry i just wanna can i read them afterwards okay i can Not what I want it to do. Um. 
No. <gasps> no. What do I do? The fuck have I gotten myself into? I deserve a little drink. Oh fuck. I knocked over my water bottle. Um. So yeah, awesome gaming, gaming, <laughs> awesome gamer moment. Oh my god. Sometimes I don't know if it's just, oh god, the suspense, um, noise, or if there's actually something following me. I got very scared when something was coming like across the window and there is like a shadow behind me moving. Creepy. Like that. Okay, so now we can exit here. Not that I think it's a good idea. Okay, I for sure thought that I was going to be absolutely terrible. But I th think it's... It's right next to me, isn't it? Okay, let me just... Oh, wrong button. 
Okay, I need to hack the elevator. Just right down here. We didn't see it, I mean, but that was so terrifying. The sounds in this game, I don't even have, I don't, I don't think this game supports 3D audio. Uh, I don't even have surround sound on. I think these headphones support it, I don't know if the game does, but the sound design, right, for, All visitors must record good god, they're session. running. The noises, the little creak. Who the fuck are you? Friendly? I'm gonna assume. Hello? My name's Ripley. Amanda Ripley. I need your help. Please take a seat. Someone will be with you shortly. No wonder Seekson is losing the tech race. Shortly? Rewire. What do we have available on today's menu, please? Uh, door access. Camera feed. Oh, wait, I didn't do it. There we go. Air purification. I don't know if that was a good idea, turning that off. Doesn't look like it. Hello. That's why all our communications are serviced by a host of Apollo A9. Centralizing all requests. Can hide so that great message does or air purification. We don't forget the little details, so you get the big picture. Is that why it's so smoky smoky sun right now? Okay. Maybe I turned that on again. I don't know if that had anything to do with it. For your comfort and reassurance, our rookie Joe synthetics are It does. Okay, that's kind of cool. Surveys have shown that consumers are often uncomfortable. I wonder if that's gonna make ours harder to detect. Seeks and working Joes are unmistakable. So you always know exactly who you're dealing with. Be reassured. That's the Seeks of promise. Your user comfort is our priority. Can I hack this? Nope. Key card required. So I guess that these are the robots that they were talking about that worked here. Is he friendly? I have no clue. I'm gonna go on a limb here. Can I help you? I need yes. to get into comms control. <laughs> it's scared. urgent. That is a restricted area. It's an emergency. Don't you realize what's going on? Apollo I think has they the do. situation in hand. Your registration is almost complete. Forget it. I'll find my own way in. It's gonna be like ma'am. I wouldn't advise it. 
Don't freak me out. He's gonna do something to me. And I'm not gonna like it. I wouldn't advise it. I don't give a crap. Motion tracker? Some kind of tracker. Awesome. It's been modified. Hmm. By whom? Oh. oh my god. Is there a problem? Yes. You're in no. my way. No problem. Oh, hello. Personnel. Oh my god, there's so much reading stuff. Marie, if you get this, I'm making my way to Seeks and Communications now. I didn't wake you because I knew you'd try and stop me. Please understand, this is our best shot. Someone has got to re-establish communications. We need to make sure the officials back at home know what's going on here. Don't worry about me. I'll be back. I'm not going to leave you and Claire alone. Oh! Oh, what's this? Okay, we opened that. Sorry, I'm gonna keep pressing the wrong button. Marie, okay. if you get this, I'm making my way to Seeks and Communications now. I didn't wake you because I knew you'd try and stop me. <laughs> Please understand that is so quiet. Best shot. Someone has got to re-establish communications. We need to make sure the officials back at home know what's going on here. Don't worry oh, we just me. heard that. I'll be back. Sorry. I'm not gonna leave you and Claire alone. Okay. Tomorrow together. Well, I, I'm not gonna know if I've read this. Sorry. Sorry if I have. Together tomorrow. Sixon journey into colonial space. An official story by Sebastian Sieg. First printed in Eye on Sixon. Our origins in space. 2034 changed everything. The advent of faster than light travel put Sixon, then known as Sieg, and Sun, on the path to success. The race into space began in earnest, and under the steady hand of the f of our founder Joshua Sieg, our company was primed and ready for the years that followed. Sieg and Sun built the components that em enabled ships to extend colonial space beyond the solar system. As history relates, Wayland Corp was reluctant to share its FTL technologies with others, with other corporations. Unfortunately, Joshua Sieg was on hand to speculate, innovate, and produce. Without Sieg and Son, our skies would have looked very different indeed. Okay. Our manifesto. We want to show you a new world. We want to discover it with you. Here at Seekson, every new technology research project and discovery is driven, driven to find real world applications to help you. We hope you'll join us for the journey. Use, I've put a manual lock on the door leading upstairs. I don't want any accidents until we figure out figure what's going on here. Uh, an outpost progress. Isolation through isolation. The space station that nobody needed, run by a company we all forgot. Sevastopol is now a back a backwater. The population is a tenth of the station's optimal capacity. Dogging bays are empty and the shutters are down and on local stores and businesses. The orders for Seekson cheaply manufactured androids have long since dried up and the anti antiquated Apollo covering AI system frequently malfunctions. How do we get here? And more importantly, where have billions of dollars of investment gone? My name is Julia Jones, and I have lived on Sevastopol for two months, compiling this report for the Colonial Times, discovering the price our second-tier corporations have paid for their overexpansion during the race into the Outer Rim. 
archives. Uh, Chief, the good news is that I'm about 80% through uh, archiving Sevastopol's internal mail system for the decommissioning. It's been disconnected from Apollo, but I've left the basic messaging system in place for the people still here. The bad news is whoever set it up in the first place skimmed on the hardware and we've had some leaks. I've got Mike Tanaka looking into it now. He's the specialist archivist, ar archivist? archivist who uh, we called in. Seems to know his shit. Just thought I'd better give you the heads up in meantime, Franco. Got it. So there is a door here. Guessing human employee recreation. Let's see. Hell yeah. All right, guys, I am going to go ahead and end this part here. Uh, I felt a little bit more brave today and I think we've managed just fine. It's just with this game, you really, there's not a lot of sense of direction. I mean, we do have the map, which is very nice and that is going to be a huge help. Um, sometimes I just don't think to check it and a lot of the time it's just explore and I totally get that and it makes perfect sense, you know, Ripley, I don't think she's ever been here. Um, so it makes sense that you're kind of in her shoes and you have to make your way through this strange or unfamiliar place and you don't really know where you're going or what's around the corner or how you get to certain places. Um, so it makes perfect sense and I, I think the the thing that actually scares me the most is just I know if the I, I just know if the alien pops out I am not gonna be sure where to go I mean obviously probably the opposite direction of where the alien is just before we were about to hack the elevator it was just I was so sure he was right next to me. I don't know if that was the case, but that was what it sounded like to me. I don't know if that's what it ha what happened or if he's even in that area or if he's just if you just hear the noise it noises and then he just disappears. I don't know why I keep saying he. To me it's a he. I don't know why. <laughs> um or if it just disappears after you've heard it attack the others, I think. But it was just scary. It was so terrifying. I think what works really well for this game is the sound design or just all the little noises. It really adds so much tension and it's probably what's the most scary thing about this game. It's just all the little noises that's going to freak you out or if you've been if you've been spotted or when you're in a very scary and tense situation the sounds and the music just really adds to that moment and it might not seem scary watching the game as a viewer but playing it and having to navigate and compose yourself through it all is so scary i have i i've honestly never experienced anything like it before um but this is like my first horror horror game that i'm playing so it's it's crazy i like it's insane how how much sound in general can just make or break an experience that's really mind-blowing to me <laughs> before i started this game i've all the i obviously know the alien movies exist but i've never watched them so i didn't know that this game takes place 15 years after the first alien movie um, I, I don't know anything about the movies, but I didn't know that. I only figured that out because I like to add a little bit... Uh, I I like to add a little description of the game and I usually just take that from a Wikipedia page. Uh, just the first section that's on the Wikipedia page is basically just sums up the genre and what the game is basically about. 
Um, so I like to add that, and that mentioned that this uh, game is supposed to take place 15 years after the movie, which I thought was really, really cool. Uh, so I can imagine that they could have put things in the game that were supposed, or that that's in the movie. I don't know though, but I could imagine that that could be something that they that they d dived into and experimented with. So I'm really sorry if there's something that someone who's familiar with the movies would recognize or or something like that. I am not gonna be that person because I haven't watched the movies. I probably should. Could be fun to make like a reaction uh, video on it, but. I'm just so bad. Like, if you've seen me play horror games, like, just imagine me watching a horror movie. It, it's, it doesn't end well. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I had a lot more fun playing today. I think the more we progress, the less freaked out I'm gonna be. Like, I mean, uh, so personally, I feel like there's a huge cr contrast to how I was in the first video to how I am in this video. And to me, that's... That's some big steps. Uh, I'm gonna try and and be a bit more cool. I know it, I'm I'm still gonna be scared, but I'm gonna try and be a bit. More, I mean, it's just a game. Like it's not gonna hurt me in any way. Um. So yeah, I'm still gonna be freaked out and all, but I'll try and be and be brave. Um, <laughs> for you guys. Yeah, I don't know if I got to mention it in the video, but I just want to say thank you so much for all the support on the first video. It's been incredible to see and if there is one thing that's gonna get me through this game it's you guys so i really really appreciate all the kind comments that you guys left on the first video and all the encouraging words it really really means a lot to me so thank you so much and i hope you guys have enjoyed this video as well but anyway thank you so much for watching i'd really appreciate it if you would leave a like on the video and subscribe to my channel i also stream over on twitch and you can follow me on instagram and twitter if you want to support my channel even more you can check out the links in the description down below that is all for me for now so bye and take care